Without a doubt, he's one of the game's premier pitching coaches. For more than 30 years, Ernie Parker has defined and produced some of the top pitchers in the world. He's helped grab nine ASA national championships, and in the last 10 years, 29 of Parker's students achieved success at the Division I level. Coach Parker frequently tours the United States, conducting seminars and clinics for major universities. At the international level, he has shared his secrets for success with students from Italy, Holland, Spain, and has twice been invited to the mainland of China. Good. Nice pitch. Okay. Now I'm going to show you three drills which would be beneficial in picking up speed. The first drill we're going to do is actually the knee drill. Okay? We're going to kneel down on the knee and throw the ball to the catcher and we're about 20 feet away or halfway between home plate and the pitching rubber. Okay? Now the purpose of this drill is it isolates the arm and really builds the arm up more because you don't have your legs and your hips and everything helping you throw the ball. You're strictly throwing it with the arm. Okay? Okay, Chris, you want to kneel down on the right knee. There we go. Good. Now we're going to throw fastballs. Okay. Fast circle. Now let's open those shoulders up. Come under. Okay. Now we can also, believe it or not, we can also work on spotting the ball. Knee, knee, shoulder, shoulder, like that. Open up good now. And back wants to be nice and straight. There we go. Good. And you're throwing against the front leg. Good. Nice pitch. Okay. Now the purpose of this drill is actually to build up the arm. Okay. Because as you can see, we have nothing going forward except the arm swing itself. So that's going to force us to build up speed. Okay. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is actually what I call the belt drill. And it's... Um, the purpose of it is to really show the girls exactly how hard they should be driving off the pitching rubber. See, pulling against something like this makes them put more effort into the leg drive, okay, and closing up the right hip. I just uh, actually got a weightlifter's belt, put a little hook on the back of it, but you don't even have to do this. You can use a regular belt, wrapping a bungee cord or a surgical tubing around the belt, making some type of attachment that you can hook to the fence here. There, okay. Actually, just hook that eye like that. Ow! <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Now, you wait. Yourself. There we go. That's good enough. It, you just, just where it doesn't fall off, actually. Okay, okay. What we want to do, the first thing we want to do is take all the slack out of the tubing here, okay? There we go. Now, uh, Chris, what I want you to do is get your feet in your normal pitching stance. In other words, this is the pitching right. It's the pitching rubber you're on there, okay? Now, what you're going to do when you start going forward, you're going to feel yourself pulling against this cord. But I want you to push as hard as you can as when your left foot hits the ground, I want you to close that right hip up as quick as we can. And we're actually going to be doing the arm swing, the whole thing, exactly like you're pitching, okay? Let's give it a try and we'll see how you do. Okay? Now, let's stride nice and straight, okay? Pushing hard with that leg, okay? Yeah, let's be a little bit quicker on getting that foot, your drag here, and that foot down real quick like that, okay, under the right shoulder, okay? Now, as you can see here, if Christy wasn't really making an effort not to let her come, self come back fast, this cord would be pulling you back, and that's good because that means that you push hard like you should, okay? That's the whole purpose of what we're doing here, is showing you how hard and how much effort and energy you should be putting into your leg drive when you throw the ball, okay? One more time. This time, Chrissy, just let the thing pull you back like it would normally, okay? Throw really hard. Let the thing... Okay. See, that's what I meant. If you push as hard as you should like that, unless you make yourself stop, that's going to pull you back, and that's good. That means you're driving really hard. If our speed is not what it should be, say, during a game, you realize that you're not quite having the pop on the ball that you usually have.